I'm currently fairly close to the courthouse down here, the Clark County Courthouse. Um, Homeland Security has taped off this area. You guys can see back there, there's uh, some more officers down there. <clears throat> Something is going on with my gimbal. It's sitting crooked. <clears throat> Stay safe tonight, guys. Whole bunch more FPS sitting there. Just walked by the federal building, bunch of FPS uh, just getting ready. Right over here is the courthouse, Clark County Courthouse. Back here where the FPS officers are at the federal building. <clears throat> All right, now I'm walking down to uh, the park where the Patriot groups are waiting for Antifa. Thought I'd take a minute and address some of the haters while I was walking. There's a Trump flag. <clears throat> so I posted some videos about yesterday and some people didn't like how I titled them. For instance, people go to vigil looking for trouble and find it. Look, here's the deal. I'm going to tell everybody what actually happens. I'm not gonna sugarcoat stuff. I'm not gonna be like CNN and fake it. I'm just not gonna do it. One pause. You guys can see police tape down there. It's part of the, they're blocking traffic going pretty much all around the courthouse. Pretty hefty police presence. There's a lot of county. Oh, there's tons of, county I don't know if you guys can see that all those lights right there are county uh, county patrol vehicles ready for tonight looks like Vancouver is ready uh, they declared a riot in Portland so if the Patriot groups are correct all the Antifa that just rioted in Portland are supposed to come up here we'll see Clark County is ready <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, I'm not going to be like CNN. I'm not going to fake it. I'm not going to sugarcoat stuff. I'm going to call out bad behavior when it happens. Doesn't matter what side. Because maybe unfortunately for me, but fortunately for the rest of the public, well, truth matters. And I'm going to stick with it. Up ahead, there's a couple of Vancouver police. Vehicles just drove by. Looks like I'm gonna get my steps in today. Always say thank you. Uh, Andrew's doing okay, he got four stitches. Uh, he was out of the hospital by 2 o'clock in the morning. He's doing good. He said he's just happy that it didn't take his eye out. He's got a big old goose egg, though.
All right, hey, uh, there's a, you guys can see the little blinky lights. There's a drone. Looks like it took off from the, uh, the direction anyway of the courthouse and Homeland Security over there. It's headed towards the park. It's just sitting up there. couple more blocks and I'll be at the park where everybody's uh, meeting up. All right, now coming to the park. like the drones just watching the park there. <clears throat> I hear a bullhorn. See some American flags up here. Hot Wheels is here. I forgot his name, Justin, I think. Dustin, Justin. It looks like uh, the Patriot side is actually on the sidewalk. And it looks like BLM Antifa is over here. So I'm gonna hang out with them for a little bit. Maybe, we'll see how it goes. I bet those flags won't be there later. Oh, there's a bunch of Vancouver PD over here. I guess keep the people out of the park. We are currently in downtown Vancouver at Esther Shore Park. Yep, that's Joey Gibson over there on the Megahorn. For those of you just now showing up, we are in downtown Vancouver, Washington at Esther Shore Park, where there is a group of patriots here 
There's uh, Joy Gibson, a lot of Patriot Prayer people here. Let me guess, Buck Nasty, you're going to say Nazis, aren't you? I just want everybody to know that Donald Trump said that oxygen is good for you. Uh, do with that as you will. Donald Trump said that uh, oxygen is good for you, so be careful, guys. So, so far, it looks like there's no Antifa here, just some press people. Uh, Vancouver PD over here on the side. Patriot group down here. Antifa said that they're gonna come here at 10 o'clock. So about an hour and a half, probably about an hour. Uh, Portland was just declared a riot not too long ago, so they're gonna be dispersing that area. I'm pretty sure if they show up, uh, it'll be soon. Yeah, they, uh, apparently they did a lot of damage according to Portland police uh, down in Portland. They went to the North Precinct, it sounds like, and then smashed a whole bunch of stuff on the way. It'll be interesting to see if they actually come here or not.
Y'all better tell my wife happy Halloween. <laughs> happy Halloween, everybody. Hopefully your kids were able to go trick-or-treating and didn't live in a horrible place like this where it's all shut down. Everybody's really scared. Like your ride. Yeah. Like your gun. Cool, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. 
they don't end up like you. Because it's American. Oh, don't worry, Aaron came out in my. I'm pretty sure there's a better pair of people. Aaron came out. Why do you have it then? So thank you for the compliment on my parenting. Would you like to be here and not ask me why you're here? They're all black. So the kid over there keeps yelling. Good here. Crazy vision of what Black Lives Matter is. 
For those of you just now showing up, we are in Vancouver, Washington, down by Esther Shore Park. A group of uh, Patriot individuals, uh, Patriot Prayer, Joy Goodson's down here, a couple Proud Boys down here, a couple different groups. Uh, are outside of Esther Shore Park where the police have uh, closed it down. There's a police line over there. There's also a squad, couple squad cars that just showed up. And uh, the uh, Patriot group is here to uh, stand against the, the alleged Antifa invasion that is supposed to be taking place tonight. Yeah, they declared uh, Portland a riot about an hour ago. There's a police helicopter overhead. And also, for those of you just now joining, uh, Homeland Security is shut down the area by the courthouse where um, they went last night. There is, uh, there is a ton of uh, Clark County Sheriff's officers and vehicles positioned by the Sheriff's Office ready to roll. Vancouver PD is out. There's a large police presence down here. Uh, there's a federal building right next to the courthouse as well. That's why DHS is out. But they also, DHS, the state patrol, they've all come together for this. So this guy just honked the horn. These little kids just told him to shut the F up. These kids are like maybe 13, 14. They're all over here. It looks like talking to a couple people. Chandler Pappas is over here. Couple people watching on the side. They came over and they were yelling a little while ago. We got Vancouver PD. I'm gonna go across the street and give you guys a look from over there. So there's some people walking through the park and uh, VPD is just keeping an eye on them. Looks like the only, there's a couple officers kind of spread out around the park. And, uh, so the rally or stand against or whatever was supposed to be held in the park, but Vancouver police shut that down 
And so all the Patriot people are over here. So it looks like these guys over here are just kind of asking her to cool her jets a little bit. Maybe tell her to stop trying to cause trouble. <laughs> looks like the children are uh, talking to Chandler. The children have come back over here. Looks like these kids are try still trying to pick fights. They keep coming back over here. Yeah. 
You guys are turning around over yeah, here. All right, for those of you just showing up, the people across the street from me right here is a group of Patriots that came down to stand against Antifa coming back to Vancouver. Last night, there was a vigil for an African-American gentleman who was shot by police. He was shot by police because he was running away from a narcotics task force. Went into a U.S. bank parking lot in Hazeldell, Washington. Uh, it's a suburb of Vancouver, unincorporated area. He ran into the U.S. bank. And um, when he got into the middle of the parking lot, a uh, large group of law enforcement vehicles entered the parking lot. He turned and fired his weapon fired a pistol at the police officers and the police officers shot him back and he died so there was a vigil last night being held for him and uh, the Patriot side a bunch of Patriot groups and proud boys uh, were worried that there would be a riot in the street in Vancouver like there was uh, in Philadelphia just a couple days before and uh, so for the most part they stayed separate um, the Patriot group was a couple blocks down a couple of the Patriot people came over to the vigil area and was talking some crap tried starting some stuff and uh, and uh A couple fights broke out and uh, put up some videos. Some people didn't like what I put up. Called me some names, like a liberal. here so far we've got a police line back there not very many people yeah not very many people over here also the reason I'm over here 
funny enough, is for my safety for later. Most of those guys know me. Oh, actually, all of them know me. These people don't recognize me, so winner, winner, chicken dinner. Granted, I'm fully aware that uh, there's a couple Antifa that are watching this currently, and uh, there will probably come a time where I will have to be over there. But for now, I'll be over here. Actually, I go back and forth. I sound scared of Antifa. Now, I will tell you that I respect Antifa. They've been to my house. They've uh, put out many death threats. Uh, they have uh, attacked uh, me and uh, others I know personally, physically. Uh, they shot one of my friends. They stabbed one of my other reporters. So, I wouldn't say I'm scared of Antifa. I respect their capabilities. Not to mention, last night they had more guns than the conservative side. Just saying. Besides, wouldn't you guys rather be seeing all those wonderful American flags over there? <laughs> we have them outgunned. Of course we do. At home. I'm talking about last night. Last night in Hazeldale. They had a uh, Redneck Revolt it was here and uh, John Brown Gun, Gun Club was here uh, doing security for the vigil. Damn it. <laughs> there was a lot. <laughs> Accurate Wisconsin Patriot News. You bet. Uh, I own the largest news media company in the Portland metro area. Uh, I am a conservative, but uh, I own an actual news media company that uh, is bigger, has more followers anyway, than uh, CBS, Fox, ABC, and NBC in the Portland metro area. So I'll go with both. I am conservative press. One hundred percent real news, and it's so real news that a lot of conservatives really don't like me, and they call me a liberal because I don't sugarcoat and I call it like I see it. Yeah, this is definitely going to escalate. There's more and more people showing up on the Antifa side every minute. There's a lot of comments going right now, so if I miss one or if you guys ask a question, ask it again and I'll try to get to you. So I'm not, my face is not showing right now. I actually have to wear a costume whenever I go out and film the riots or this stuff uh, because they uh, do not recognize me, do not know who I am and cannot. Otherwise, it'd be a very bad day. Oh no, I'm talking actually very quietly and uh, making sure that nobody's around. It's one of the reasons why I, uh, it's one of the reasons why I uh, miss a lot of comments because I'm not always, I, I hardly never look at the screen. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, they look closer than they actually are. People are asking what happened tonight uh, at the North Precinct on Martin Luther King Boulevard in North Portland. Uh, Antifa and Black Lives Matter had a riot. Uh, it was declared a riot about an hour and a half ago. Uh, the crowd, I think, has been dispersed, according to a couple reports. I don't own a network. I have uh, this channel, and I also have a... Uh, it's called CSC Media Group US. It's a network. It's a network of uh, different filmers, including the Common Sense Conservative on Facebook, which has over half a million followers, and a few others. Willing to interview Antiquifa? Not a chance. Even though I'm wearing a mask and my voice is muffled, especially when I talk quietly. Uh, when I talk a little bit louder as into somebody else, uh, my voice is a little more recognizable. And uh, it's no bueno. Uh, when it's a daylight thing um, where I can actually show my face and be open about who I am, I do talk to Antifa a lot. <clears throat> so just so you guys know, these guys over here are conservatives too. Those are police to the right. These guys right here to the left are not police. I see it, and that means I'm voting for Donald Trump because I live in the real world, and Joe Biden is absolutely not an option. Joe Biden's a worse pick than Hillary. Two shots fired in the air. 
No, that was here last night. You want to see video? You want to see video? I got the video. You see the video. And you have a funny name. I said it's somebody kicked on my door. You didn't say nothing about somebody having a gun in my face. You don't think that's different? No, 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 no. You're going to hear the door break down before they have a gun. I have a gun. I have a gun. I have a gun. I have a gun. That's why that broke down behind the door. Who the fuck are you? Well, yeah, that's what cops And again, they came in on the house. You say police Holy arm. Open up! Not yeah, they're always, gonna go look they, 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 they did not do that. That's according to your witnesses. Your witness, there's two different witnesses. No, I don't know Austin's though. No, you just don't know all the facts. You don't know all the facts. You haven't you haven't educated your mom knows you're a lot of other things that are here too. No, I pushed out this whole fucking thing on the floor. We got more uh more Antifa showing up. Uh, no, the police did not shoot someone tonight. Uh, they shot somebody two nights ago. I do not know Austin Zone. behind everybody except for the police I got more people showing up on this side better way to give you the whole picture than from right here.
Uh, sniper nests are actually not a uncommon thing. Usually, uh, you always have um, overlooks. Uh, no matter what, you'll have overlooks. People with binoculars. Um, had a helicopter over here a while ago. I do not let people restream my feed, but there's not really much I could do about it. For those of you who are watching a restream, come to the Common Sense Conservative on YouTube and uh, support me. There's a lot of people that just showed up right now. There's a lot more people showing up right now. Might be ending up on the other side of the street sooner than I anticipated. Uh, there was a drone. Oh yeah, there's a drone still right now. I'll see if I can show you guys. Oh, I uh, just, there we go. Jacked up my gimbal. Sorry about that. So this guy, uh, he's been coming over here a couple times talking to people. He's been having pretty good conversations. So he, 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 he just uh, yelled at the cops that their boss sucked. Yeah, everybody he's talking to is Antifa. They're holding Black Lives Matter signs and uh, abolish the police signs. Well, that was fun. Honestly, guys, 
If more people operated like that, we'd probably actually get through to some of these guys. There's a couple of Antifa that just showed up with paintball guns. So for those of you guys who have been around for a little while, the Antifa side has uh, probably doubled in the last 10, 15 minutes or so. When we first got down here, there was about six. <laughs> Yeah, Antifa put out the event that they were going to show up at 10 o'clock, so we'll see how that goes. you guys let's just start shooting i'm gonna go ahead and just ask y'all to refrain because my wife would make me uh not do this anymore so how about we just kind of hang off on that yeah i was seeing a little of you on some of the streams i had a lovely dinner with my daughter and my wife and boyfriend at state yeah, personally, I'm uh, anti-violence. <laughs> well, you look on the plus side. It just tastes good, so you know. Really? <laughs> yeah. Every time I get pepper spray, that's like something uh, lovely. Oh, don't worry. I know that eventually somebody on this side of the street's gonna recognize me or point me out for my chat, and I'll have to go over there. I'm just trying to keep it over here. Uh, as long as I can, that way I can show you guys the whole picture. Oh, 
I'm just asking you to back off a little bit. You need to Please. focus on the enemy. Her daughter almost got run over by a truck last night. Please just oh, back off a little bit. Come on now. If we back off, they're going to burn this to the ground. You yes, have no idea what's going on here. That's wrong. Like I just said, that's wrong. Please, please back off a little bit. A little bit. Back off. Give me six feet distance, please. You back. Give me six feet. You need to go back in your house and let us take care of this. You're not going to fight them. You're not going to stop them. Let us go into our house. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is actually really interesting, uh, having all of the uh, police behind Antifa that really kind of limits their actions tonight. They can't throw stuff because the cops are right there. If they uh, do throw anything, the cops are going to see them. I've never seen Antifa in the middle of two lines before. First time for everything. Oh, 
I will tell you that the talk is not all useless because uh, there are people who are on the side and they listen. Uh, Black Rebel's doing good. He's got a big old bump on his head. It's got four stitches. He got out of the hospital last night at 2 o'clock in the morning. Five more months, I think, for a parole violation. For those of you watching this uh, after the fact, after the live is over, uh, sometimes you'll hear me speak for no reason. It's because I'm answering people commenting during my live, FYI. Currently, there's less Antifa than normal, but uh, they're arriving more and more every minute. For those of you just now tuning in, we're in downtown Vancouver, Washington. Yesterday, there was a vigil in Hazeldale, Washington, which is just north of here. There were some altercations. Antifa came down here to downtown Vancouver, broke some windows and graffitied. So a group of patriots over here on the right-hand side of the road uh, came down to stand against them. And Antifa has been arriving a little bit at a time. There's John Hacker. Somebody asked where the police were. Uh, there is a police line right there. There is a massive police presence just up the road. Uh, there is uh, Homeland Security cordoned off the area around the courthouse and the federal building. 
Clark County Sheriff's Office is also standing by lots and lots of law enforcement close by. Well, since uh, John Hacker's right there, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the other side. He always likes doxing me. He's crap. They look so dusty. They look. like all the Patriot people are leaving right now. And they're actually leaving him here all by himself. I can't, I can't speak for everybody on this side of the road and I can't speak for anybody on your guys' side. I can speak for me. And I, I just want to create some dialogue with you guys. I don't go to Portland. I don't go do that shit over there. I don't oppose anybody over there. I just want to talk. Come on. Come on. Listen, listen. I've been beat up by I've been beat up by the police myself. I feel like fuck the police. But I don't feel like fuck these people. These people are not our problem. These people are not the police. We standing on the other side of the street, yelling insults at them, and then yelling insults at us. None of this does anything for my black babies. Please stop! If you wanna to talk to these people, cross the fucking street and talk to these fucking people. Please! Please, if you're not if you're not some punk white kid like they say you are, who's in college, who's supposed to destroy property, and you actually care about my babies, will you please try to solve the problem? Will you please stop standing out here and getting beat up by the cops and giving them overtime pay when they're already overfunded? And talk to these people. Please! We all live next door to each other. You're gonna see these niggas in Fred Myers. If y'all want to talk, let's talk. I discovered something. We say defund the police. They don't understand what we mean. They think, listen to what I'm saying. Just please, I don't want to solve this. I just explained this to so many of these dudes. We want to find other ways to reduce criminogenic risk. The media is giving slow. Okay, so how about from now? How about from now? You won't talk to them. Listen, we're trying to do something different. We're trying to do something different. We're going to do that. I'm the most, I want to be clear here. I want to be clear here. I want to be clear here. I'm the most, I'm the most. Everybody. Nobody is more burning down, kill them all than me. None of y'all done got out here and done this shit I done did out here. I still don't hate these people. I still don't hate these people. We don't hate you. And they don't hate us. So stop letting the media and the AI divide you. If I hated you enough, I have done what I did yesterday. We had, tell them what you did. So some stupid shit happened. Tell them who. And I stopped it. I'm not going to. I tell him, stay with Pythas, loaded his fucking weapon, pointed it at me, and this man, yes, stepped in front and told him to back the fucking way. And I pushed him. And what happened? You are still here. I'm not here with him. 
What about the shots fired last night? The shots fired last night was bullshit. Right. I don't know who did it. What about the bear maze in the car with the babies? That's what about that shit? What about yeah. fucking up the That's your people. That's your, That's your people. That's your, people. That's your group. What about white? We don't what do that shit. What about the protest at the vigil? You were there with me when Dustin was there. Yes. And we never fucking left. Right. I'm not saying you personally. I'm saying your people. The people that you run with. I don't know all of them. The people. Hello, humans! Yeah, say, man, we out here for Kevin fucking Peterson. That's right. That's what we out here for. I don't know what you out here for. I don't know what they out here for. And I don't give a fuck what they out here for. We out here for Kevin Peterson, so y'all can take that shit on the other side of the street. If you out here for Kevin Peterson, we over here. Right. Say his name! Kevin Peterson! Kevin Peterson! Kevin Did he actually think talking to him was anything because it won't? You're talking to demented people that don't have full capacity. Like they're not even 25, their brain's not even done with So the majority of the Patriot group all left these guys that are still here trying to have conversations and dialogue with them. It'll be interesting to see how this all pans out. More people are, more of the Patriot people are leaving now. There's probably six people from the Patriot side down here right now. And this is why I hung out on the Antifa side most of the time I was down here. So... This guy over here, backing away, just poured uh, something on his back. So that's how stuff gets started. It looks like being the bottle, to be honest. Yeah, it looks like pee in that bottle. It's more red. I don't know what it is, but it's gross. 
So he just pulled out bear mace or bear, uh, mace of some sort right now. Looks like there's a few people that are surrounded down here now. There's very, very few Patriot people down here. We've got some pushing going on over here. more Patriot people that just showed up again. Not a lot more, but a few more. There were like zero. Now there's a few more. Yeah, I know there's music. I can mute it later, I think. Thank you, babe. Everybody say hello to my beautiful wife looking out for me. The side is pretty much blown up. There's a lot more people over here now. We've got some Patriot people coming back. That's my good buddy John. Oh, 
So in the middle of this dog pile right here, there's a guy who's on the Black Lives Matter side who is trying to get some dialogue going and talk to people. Some of the other people on the Black Lives Matter side came over and uh, got in his face and they're trying to fight with him or just talking to him anyway. So there's a lot of infighting going on right now as well as a uh, conversation between the right side and the left side. Yeah, I just I just saw that somebody donated two dollars. I want to thank you very, very much. That money is going to help me pay my bills and get me more safety equipment for me and my uh, crew that comes out here. I definitely appreciate every single penny that you guys donate, especially since YouTube has uh, been holding me down really bad lately. My subscriptions keep going up, but they've been demonetizing everything. So. Everything that you guys uh, donate, it really means a lot and helps me keep doing this. That guy just keeps trying to hold the peace. Thank you guys, thank you very, very much. It really means a lot. I know how uh, us right-wingers uh, feel about our hard-earned money. So it really does mean a lot. I know every penny counts. Thank you guys. Always say thank you. And I do apologize if I don't uh, thank you guys right away. I don't, I don't see a lot because I'm usually looking other places, so I apologize, but I definitely appreciate all of you. Thank you, Lawrence.
Thank you very much. I want to say Levisi's, but I, I, don't, I know I butchered that. <clears throat> Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Annette. Thank you very much. guys i'm in the middle i gotta turn off the comments feel free to keep going my wife will talk to you guys i'm sure i'll turn the chat off when i go back out to the side there Got some more stuff going on over here. Sorry. All right. Comments are back on so I can see what you guys are saying again. Looks like uh, these guys are marching, so we'll stay with them. So it looks like Antifa's marching. The Patriot side is staying right here. They're not going anywhere. Thank you, some guy, Sandy. I can see your guys' chat again. Yes, thank you guys very much for your support. It definitely helps uh, helps me still continue to do this good stuff. So they're yelling at uh there's people guarding i don't know if you guys can see them or not if i turned it in, in time but uh there's people guarding that building back there that's who they were yelling at calling nazis
Oh, I'll definitely go to DC, you bet. I went to DC uh, about a month ago. Thanks to you guys. In all my years of covering these guys, this is the first time we've ever been in Vancouver. I owe my wife a back rub tonight. I told her that they weren't gonna come over here. I was way wrong. We've got uh, law enforcement up ahead of us here. really surprised about how many people are here. Some people eating food, a lot of people coming out of the restaurant there videotaping. No, there is zero Patriots anywhere to be seen whatsoever. We got the police helicopter over us again.
means if people start breaking stuff. Oh, there you go. about parallel with the courthouse. The courthouse is approximately six blocks away. Or I'm sorry, four or five blocks away. To the left of us here. It's all cordoned off and uh, surrounded by Homeland Security. They just announced they're not going to the uh, sheriff's office. Lots of sirens. I don't know if you guys can hear them or not. Sounds like a whole line of police vehicles are on their way.
That's, a, that's in case we didn't hear them. Yeah. All right, that was interesting. So all of a sudden, the march is being followed by a bunch of Trump supporters. Looks like the police are actually sitting at the uh, um, on ramp to make it so they don't go on the freeway. For they all stop there at the overpass onto the freeway. So he just called all white people to the front to push the police. Shields to the front. So. So their logic is, is that they're, the police are outnumbered, so they'll be able to push the police and go on the freeway if they want to. So we are currently walking down Mill Plain Boulevard, completely blocking the street. Looks like there's still a group of uh, Patriot people tailing, following. So there's a line of officers on the on-ramp over here. More coming over here. The police line's actually backing up. Looks like we have sheriff's office over here. Police line is now blocking uh, Mill Plain. Also, they are saying this is where the march will stop. So we've got a police line there. We have a police line over here. And here's the protesters. I will say that uh, Vancouver PD, or the police officers' numbers that are here right now, are considerably smaller than what they're used to in Portland. 
It'll be interesting to see how this goes. I will note that these officers here are just have basic face masks. No gas masks. There's Patriots at the back of the line. You guys can see them right there. Looks like they actually cleared the road too, so traffic is now going through. Here's the uh, Antifa press squad. They're all pretty well known. Like, uh, we're gonna try to get ahead of the cops. We have a lot more law enforcement coming up uh, behind us. We have law enforcement up here blocking the on-ramp, uh, I guess, also. It's weird. I don't understand why. A lot more law enforcement's coming up. Uh, it looks like they're hitting the freeway. It's weird. The riot van that was previously here is still heading down Mill Plain. We have uh, some officers coming through here. Ryan Van appears to be hanging out up here at uh, an entrance into Officers Row, which is uh, the old Fort Vancouver. It appears to be just one police car sitting here at the uh, off-ramp, or on-ramp, I'm sorry, northbound on the 2 uh, I 5 here. Taking the street back. So over here on my right, you guys, I don't know if you can see it or not. Flashing light over there is the Evergreen Boulevard that also goes into Officer's Row to Fort Vancouver. For some reason, there's an officer there blocking uh, Evergreen. I don't understand why since everybody's over here. Oh, yes. The killers of Brianna. Terry. All 
Officers coming back over to uh, the mill plate now. Looks like you just did it. So they're just blocking it so people can't go into Officer's Row again. So they're saying there's only one cop car. Take a right. As soon as they take a right, they're in federal property. Just gonna point that out. And the cop looks. There is a police line here after all. So let's see what happens. They're blocking the street. Here comes the Trump supporters. So all of Antifa is actually coming back right now.
Looks like this is where they might be making their stand. So we got Patriot folks right here, right up front. That guy over there with the flashlight is getting surrounded. He's a uh, on the Patriot side, He's filming.
Kevin did not have a gun. So it sounded like uh, some tires just got slashed or something happened. It sounded like a gas dispersing. So, I mean, it sounded like a tire got slashed or something. I don't know what. Oh, police tire got slashed. rig out here and slash the tires looks like after that happened everybody's taking a walk Usually when they do the marches, they have uh, support vehicles. And that's what this guy was doing here. It's a support vehicle. Blocking traffic from this guy. Yeah, they're right, they're right over there. They're right over there. Honk your horn, they might come to you. Or they just don't give a fuck about you and they won't do anything. Uh, the people just said that it's talked out. This car behind them here is uh, pull them off. Not letting him back up. So now they've pinned him. There's nowhere for him to go. Yeah, the guy did look parked out, so it's definitely a volatile situation right now. He very well might go through this crowd.
Honestly, I'm surprised they haven't slashed his tires yet. It's usually one of the first things they do. But they're all calling the cops right now, so that's interesting on itself. So there's the uh, cops right here. Black Lives and just standing there. Black Lives now the dude's parked up there. saying he's got a gun but there's it's all it's hearsay Amazing how right after I said I'm surprised they didn't slash his tires, they slash his tires. It's almost like I've been doing this for a little while, right? Weird. No police at this intersection at all. Northbound or southbound off ramp. I meant northbound off ramp. Southbound on ramp. Guess I'm standing in the middle of the road here. Um, 
sidewalk petered out. Too busy watching people and not sidewalks. Already fell in a hole once today. My back is loving it. Welcome to Vancouver, everybody. <laughs> Lovely place to come and visit, except for not really. Portland's uh, homeless population keeps moving north. And Portland's population keeps moving north. There's John again. There's a fight going on over there. Uh, they're actually holding one of the people back. A uh, guy was starting to fight and then uh, a bunch of people grabbed him and held him back. Dude up front here getting the light shined on him was the one that got punched. They grabbed the guy that punched him and held him back. Keeps reaching into his jacket, so that's never a might have got hit in the chest or something. For those of you asking earlier why I hung out on the Antifa side, I hope I don't have to answer that question again. We are currently walking west on 15th Street.
thermometer to my left says it's 48 degrees out here. Just gonna point out that as soon as we left the freeway, I have not seen another officer down here. Coming up on Main Street right now. There's no law enforcement or Patriots that I can see anywhere at all. Again, sorry if my camera wanders. I uh, am rarely looking at it. So also I apologize if uh, people are trying to talk to me and I don't see it. They're not very good at locking streets for and stuff. At least they try. Getting points for that. A special thank you to everybody who donated to, donated tonight. Definitely helps make it so I can keep doing this. When I used to do this back 2016 and 17, YouTube, uh, all the platforms completely took me off. Demonetized me in every stretch, so I had to go back and get a 9 to 5. It killed my website and everything. So you guys donating definitely helps make it so I can keep doing this. YouTube as it is, is already demonetizing a lot of my stuff, but they haven't completely demonetized me again yet, so fingers crossed. Your guys' donations definitely help make me feel better about it. Give me hope.
just did like chest now. Did somebody just say lying about being a conservative? Somebody just said, Andy knows a better report reporter than me? That's funny. Andy knows steals footage from people like me and everybody else. Shut up. <laughs> Andy No got famous because he got beat up. I have my following due to hard work. I don't need to be a martyr to get a following. Thank you. Antifa puts death threats out on me and my family and posts my address so people come back to my house like they previously have. You really want to say that Antifa loves me? You're special. The ignorance is strong with these people. They're allowing me to be here because they don't know it's me, obviously. Common sense is dead. Do you think I come out here with my face showing and like being able to be identified? Come on, geniuses. Take a minute, get off the stream, look at my footage. I dare ya. Bunch of newbies. It's okay, I don't blame you because you're new. Feel free to do some research though before you try to talk crap. Thanks, babe. Thank you for taking out the trash. It's okay to have haters. I don't mind too much. Thank you, Carrie. It means a lot. It really does. <laughs> Prove I'm a conservative by screaming I love Trump. Again, I don't really want to, you know, die. My wife would really not appreciate it. Dude's windshield is smashed. Smashed. All right, so the courthouse is right down here. Uh, as is uh, Homeland Security and uh, the Clark County Sheriff's Office. Is down here as well. So usually about this time, we get some division. A lot of uh, people want to go confront the police. Some people do not. Thank you, Matthew. The shares mean just as much. Thank you, Mad Music Junkie.
Yes, Tony, I'm fully aware that they watch my live stream and know where that where I am. Hence why I usually position myself the way I do. They actually have a command van that watches. Depending on the day, there's been a few times where uh, I've been uh, called out. And that's usually when my live stream gets cut short and released. Got some destruction going on up here, it sounds like. Looks like some barricades got knocked over. Uh, you guys can't see him, and there's a guy picking up uh, road cones right here. Oh, it's Richard. Uh, no, we're not in a residential area. We're on the side of the residential area, though. This wall right here, there's houses on the other side of that. We're actually coming down to the homeless area. For those of you guys just joining, I know a lot of people have left because it's gotten pretty boring, but for those of you just joining, this whole thing started with uh, Patriot groups coming down to stand against Antifa so they uh, couldn't destroy the city and stuff. I don't see any. I'm just saying. It looks like uh, we're now going to be going down along the west side of the uh, courthouse, doing a big circle. So we got sheriff's uh, sheriff's departments over here. Everybody just dropped their cones. They just uh, just move those.
So I don't know if you guys can see it. We've got some people on a roof over there. They're just throwing a bunch of cones over here. Uh, I don't think you guys can see them. But there's officers on the roof over there. Somebody's uh, spray painting the sign behind me. No, just us! No, 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 no
I got officers coming up from this direction. Joey Gibson and uh, Chandler Pappas. Fuck your livelihood. Fuck your livelihood. Someone's life is more important than property. Period. No discussion. Why do you have to pick and choose? Oh, you got to pick and choose? Why do you have to pick and choose? So I break in your house, you're going to shoot me? Do you guys remember when you guys were the tea party in 2012? If I break your window, what are you going to do? You guys remember when your whole fucking gimmick was property destruction? Because you don't understand history at all? Because I already don't respect her life to begin with. You guys understand what phobia is? Phobia is showing up to a candlelight vigil that's a funeral and being like, Oh no! Somebody fired two shots down the line. Well, they, 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 they were innocent. They were innocent. They wouldn't get killed. If you commit crimes, you resist the West. The cops do what they have to do. Killing people is not what they have to do. I got to turn it off. Uh, I can't see the comments. You got somebody coming at you with a knife. You have to protect yourself. In every single situation that you hear on the news, that Black Lives Matter riots after that, the people started it. They're either committing crimes, they're resisting arrest, they're threatening people. Nobody innocent is getting killed. Are you right next to me? 
You gotta take right accountability for what you do. Yeah, yeah. they do. Is that all my guys? 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 Just talk. You don't control me. I can talk whenever I want. So can you. You have no power. If you got something to say, say it. They objectively have a totally different process. Why aren't you don't stand for black lives? Why aren't you doing for black lives? Just because, just because they have a bad attitude doesn't mean that they're not going to be able to get it. So why are they getting in trouble? Why aren't they getting in trouble like other human beings? When somebody commits a crime and the cops are saying something, they have to go through the same process that we all go through. You can't just see something on the news and go destroy a town. That's not how it works. That's not law and order. We have, we have a system. We have a court system. I am not a violent person, and I would never do anything. I would never I've ever vandalize anything because I am not that kind of person. Are you Absolutely. Are you Antifa? That's not what they care about. Do you know what Antifa is? Yes, I do. Why? No. What is it? You're not affiliated with Antifa. What is it? Do you denounce Antifa? What is Antifa? Do you deny Antifa? What is it? 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 Tell me what it is. You can't answer a question? You can't answer a question? Yes, I do. No, I'm not playing word games. We all know it is. Then what is it? What's that flag? What's that flag? What's that flag with the arrows? Is he broken? Can you answer a question? What is that flag? Human life should never be taken away from someone. And you guys need to realize that. that these people, uh -uh, I'm not done. These people are being killed for no reason. These innocent people are being murdered on the street. Kevin Peterson was left 12 hours in the road. No one gave a fuck about it. You realize that? No one gave a fuck about it. There's lots of people that nobody gives a fuck about. So, why are white people being brought up? Because it's not like you. You know why? What about Cannon and Hidden? What about Cannon and Hidden? Let's talk about it. 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 Let's talk about it.
something we you don't know about. What about Trayvon Martin? Fuck Trayvon Martin! What about Trayvon Martin? Fuck Trayvon Martin! I'm a 16 year old! Bro, what about Elijah McClay? 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 He got justice the next day! Janet Killer got, got arrested! Not put in prison! The next day! You idiot! You fucking dumb, bro! You stupid! You stupid! No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not, bro. Yeah, it's about George Floyd. Resisting arrest for 10 minutes. That's bullshit. That police officer is not a jerk. Oh, 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 If you already couldn't breathe, maybe they shouldn't have let me talk. Let me say a sentence. Let me say a sentence. Let me say a sentence. The officer up the road just got a little closer. Let me say a sentence. If you're a man, then stop interrupting us. You listen to one time. Are you allowed to say one sentence? I'm screaming because nobody's fucking listening. If you're a man, are you to say one sentence? I'm screaming because nobody's fucking Looks like the Patriots side's leaving.
Watch for Mace and Paintballs. Audra, don't let Joey take your spotlight. He's washed out. So the crowd moved off, but uh, I'm going to stick around here for a second just to see whether or not the truck gets attacked as it's driving off. somebody over there on the corner waving a flag all right looks like everybody's back down here everybody marched off must have gone around the block and came back all right i'm going to turn the chat back on so i can see what's going on all right hi everybody you got to turn the chat off for me so uh when I'm surrounded by people like that, I don't want them to be able to read what you wonderful folks are saying. <clears throat> so, now I can see some of you again. Uh, we were in Vancouver, Washington. And there's a flag that's left of the flag after they ripped it off the flagpole. trying to Catch up to those guys again here. Earlier, I heard some stuff break, but I did not see it. Looks like some guy just tripped. Been there, done that. Know how that goes. So this is about as half-assed a board-up job of it I think I've ever seen. It's interesting. They're literally just placed there. 
Got more law enforcement over there. Wow. Hey, whatever, if it works. Oh, some of them are screwed up. Okay. Still. Hey, for effort. I see that uh, looks like somebody else uh, donated. Thank you very, very much. It's very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Here's a little light display. I'm definitely getting my steps in. There's uh, more law enforcement there. It's the back side of the courthouse. Pretty sure that'd be county. Homeland Security's on the other side. Block off, they blocked off a two block radius around the federal building, sheriff's office and courthouse. <clears throat> Yeah, so far, the police haven't done anything. Uh, they actually sat there and watched uh, one of their vehicles tires get slashed about 15 feet away from the police line. They did not move. Just it's weird to me, to be honest. I don't, uh, don't understand it. And they literally watch a crime happen and they don't move, they don't even flinch. It's crazy. I am not going to screen that. <laughs> There are certain times and certain places where I'll be more than happy to yell something, but uh, when I'm walking around surrounded by people who uh, have published multiple articles and threatened my family and been to my house and slashed my tires, I'm good. I think so. I like being incognito as much as possible. Just heard something break. This window's getting smashed up ahead. Or at least attempted. I haven't actually heard glass break. I've just been hearing impacts. I 
So over here, this is the full full weight of the Clark County Sheriff's Office. All sitting by the jail and the courthouse. As you see, none of them. No. I'm as I'm as pro cop as the next right winger. But when I can drive by and or walk by and just see all the cops, pretty massive police force. Just hanging out, protecting a jail and a courthouse. Well, all this is going on. It's bothersome. It's right up there with uh, them watching a tire get slashed. doesn't uh, sit well with me. Call me crazy. Here we go. There's a some more. This is a whole nother block down guys and it's these guys are lined up. Solid. But there's uh, you know stuff going on here. They don't care. Granted, they haven't been uh, destroying a whole bunch of stuff. I haven't actually seen any broken glass, but uh, I mean, the sheriff's office sat there and watched them rip the flag down and spray paint the uh, state patrol sign and all that didn't do anything. I just don't get it. I think it's one of the reasons that there's a lot of right-wingers who are starting to turn away from backing the blue. Here we go. This is, I think, the third full block of Clark County Sheriff's Office. I don't sound like a like a right winger talking <laughs> because I say that them watching crimes being committed and not doing anything about it's not a good thing. You're right, that's totally lefty. group of people coming up uh ow oh that hurt really bad No, I agree with that. I totally understand the whole following orders thing, but uh, we got to fix that, guys. We really do. You know, people are going to keep voting for Democrats. We got to fix it. 
We gotta fix this problem of no law and order. She has a sidearm. So, right now, this march is getting paralleled by a group of people. I don't know who they are. One block to the left. All right, we're coming back to where it all started at Esther Shore Park. Got some broken windows. So they're beating up, uh, they're beating up parking meters, it sounds like. There's a group of, uh, we got a whole bunch of officers over here. We got a bunch of officers walking down that way trying to keep people out of the park. Oops, sorry. There's a fairly large group of Patriots that are, uh, that first group of cops that I showed you guys, they're in front of them. Like uh, this parking meter got smashed up pretty good. I don't know where the cops came. They came down this way. I don't know where they went. So there's a line of police blocking this street. It's strange. Some people just walk by them. Guess I found out where the line the police went. Got uh, more law enforcement showing up, it looks like. Oh, 
Looks like they're actually gonna try to do something now. Another line of rad police are marching up from the side over here. A whole bunch of police coming uh, over here now. I got more over here. So it looks like everybody hit the sidewalks. It's definitely not like Portland. Portland, they usually stick around a little bit more. And they're usually a little more confrontational. This group is, has been pretty, um, pretty low key compared to what you see in Portland. Do a lap really quick, show you guys what's going on here. What I have, I'm gonna do is the hole. Come through and make a hole. Out of the street, out of the street. Oh, make a hole. Oh, make a hole. Oh, thank you. Oh, they gotta get shoulder to shoulder now. Shoulder to shoulder. Why? Oh, fucking face mask down. Wait, did you guys just load your lineup from one side? Yeah, they did. That's cool. Did you like see your nice thing? Now we got this group over here as well. There's nobody on that side.
So there's another drone up here. No good cops in a racist system. No good cops in a racist system. No good cops in a racist system. That's a new one. Some good cops are guilty too. Silent cops. There we go. Okay. For those of you who don't know, Kevin Peterson is the guy that they, uh, was involved in an officer-involved shooting two days ago. He was running away from the, car, or nar, the uh, narcotics task force. Um, police uh, caught up to him in vehicles. 
at the U.S. Bank in Hazelda, Washington, which is just north of here. It's an unincorporated uh, Vancouver suburb. And um, Kevin Peterson turned and shot at the officers responding. And uh, the officers got out of their vehicles and shot him back. Uh, yesterday there was a vigil for him and uh, Patriot groups came and stood against them. Currently we are in Vancouver, Washington, downtown Vancouver, Washington, in front of City Hall at the uh, southwest end of Esther Short Park. Hazel Dell is uh, considered and known as uh, Felony Flats, for those of you who aren't from around here. Yeah, there's a lot of Antifa are homeless, definitely homeless people that, um, you know, they get fed, they get felt like uh, they belong to something, uh, you know, shared drugs, stuff like that. Uh, you know, and then, of course, they come out and they do a whole bunch of, like, they give the homeless a lot of stuff, so that's how they develop a, a relationship, I guess, with them. Yeah, earlier tonight in Portland, uh, a riot was declared. They marched on the North Precinct on Martin Luther King Boulevard in Northwest Portland there. And uh, it was declared a riot at about 9. And then at about 10 o'clock, uh, the majority of these people came. And since then, more people have been filling in. I've been called lots of things, but uh, nobody's been able to call me a liar. Actually, earlier today, a lot of people called me a liberal, so that's fun. Beirut, Oregon, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, somebody said a question here. Uh, not letting you super chat, any more donations? I don't know why they're not letting you super chat, but uh, in the description of the video, I got links if uh, people want to donate. And actually, if you want to donate, uh, PayPal and Venmo and Cash App, all those links and stuff are on there. Uh, they take a lot less than YouTube does, so if you, if you want to donate via one of those links, that'd be awesome too. Not to mention, if you donate on one of those links, I get it immediately and not on the 21st. So, yeah. Super Chat takes a lot. I mean, I, I get, I think, 75% of it, maybe. Uh, I'm definitely the cameraman. <laughs> He's silly. You wanna, want me to prove that I'm the cameraman? How about a one, and a two, and a three? <laughs> you betcha. Yeah, I'm definitely not Antifa. I, I, I definitely suggest anybody who accuses me of being Antifa uh, to feel free to look back at the uh, five plus years of footage. Definitely CGI fingers, you caught me, for sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm that good. So there's uh, uh, earlier there was no officer vehicles up here, or no police cars up here at all on the, this street anyway. So this is new, guys. Looks like there's actually still a good number of people where the Patriots were hanging out earlier. Something happened that I've never seen before, and that was uh, Patriots on one side of the street. Antifa on the other side of the street and then police behind Antifa. They were surrounded. It's weird. So I'm just trying to get up here to the corner before they do. Some screaming going on up here. like legit screaming so <laughs> uh, a girl just said that she's gonna kill somebody So police are apparently not going to let them go down that road. Behind me, uh, looks like, sorry, behind me, I heard Antifa or breaking, hitting some stuff. A window just smashed down there. Just heard the window smash, don't, didn't see it. I don't know where it was. I'm gonna go ahead and cross the street here. Hopefully this car doesn't hit me. These look like Patriot people standing on the corner here. And we got the marches going to the right here. We got some rifles on this side of the street here. Still got some screaming going on ahead of us. Lots of screaming going on ahead of us. Still got a small group of, uh, looks like Patriot people up here. So it looks like there's gonna be a chick fight just started. Oh, they're throwing punches. 
Like legit punches. So this girl here in the white shirt, she was uh, So watch me be a good citizen right now. Oh. You're looking for your hat? You're looking for your hat? Is this your hat? There you go. You bet. Making friends wherever I go so they don't start to throw stuff at me. As you know, they do not like me. Come on, bro. <laughs> so, groups, uh, groups uh, heading that way. <laughs> oh, my wife doesn't want me making friends while I'm out here. <laughs> I never thought it'd be to the point where somebody could just grab their gun openly at me and I'm like, fuck you, with a flashlight. I'm like, fuck you. So we got some uh, more Patriot. Oh, there's the guys that were trying to be peaceful and stuff. Having conversations. It's like they're still having conversations. That's cool. All right, looks like they're having a powwow up here. I've got a banjo coming up behind me. I think the powwows to. Oh, they're still going. Getting my steps in tonight. A girl who I uh, gave her hat to. Looks like uh, her fingers got hurt. She's getting her pinky finger and ring finger taped up. That's how I want to film from now on. So for all you guys donating, I hope you realize that that's what I'm going to be buying. I'm going to be purchasing one of those so I can film on that from now on. Maybe a motorized scooter. Come out here dressed like Angry Grandpa or something. For all of you who are watching this on Restream, come on over to the Common Sense Conservative on YouTube. We love you here. We appreciate you here. I know that uh, some of the Restreamers, some of them are good guys. You know, 
taking other people's hard work and so on. So that just happened. Only one though, the other one just bounced. There's a little ACAB. Oh, it's daylight savings, isn't it? It is. You got an extra hour of rioting today. Isn't that well, super? I'm gonna, <laughs> so, hey, I'm So we're heading back to the right. Uh, there should be police there. So, oh, there's more glass breaking. I heard glass actually shatter at that point. I don't see it. I don't see where they broke the glass, but I definitely heard it. Oh, did you miss that? A little ACAB again. All right. I'm gonna blast myself. The fourth person snacks. Give a damn about it. I can't say that. He's a hero. Well, can one less hungry mouth on the welfare? Sorry, I apologize for culturally appropriating. Sorry. At least I kept it clean. each other two distant strangers supposed to be supposed to me it'll be the same So, they're not doing anything yet. I'm surprised they haven't declared it unlawful emergency or unlawful assembly yet. It's uh, quite surprising. So there's people yelling back there saying there's more cops coming. Looks like a possible kettling situation. Police just uh, made a line over here to the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and step over here to the side guys cause I prefer to be behind the police line. Not so much in front of it. So, just gonna go hang out over here for right now. Cause we got a police line over here to the right, police line over here to the left, and I have a nice empty road behind me. Ooh. 
I got a pee. Sorry, too, too, too personal. I apologize. You see me walking around a lot. Well, now you know. Yeah, you definitely don't go where the cops uh, will want you to go. I learned that during the uh, Trump riots in 2016. I got kettled and I actually got detained for uh, about an hour and a half, two hours on a city bus. That was, it sucked. That sucked. They do hate us for our common sense. 100% you bet. Logic and reason, they hate it. It goes against their entire everything. Their entire basis is nothing but emotion. Pardon me for backing up and just uh, again trying to uh, not be in front. <clears throat> All right, I'll get closer again. Police lines moving forward down that street there as well. Sorry guys, I'm not going to be looking at comments because if police show up behind me, I will be backing up very quickly and getting behind them. All right, guys. Uh, hey, just make sure you're. Oh, well, we got more people coming up, more officers coming up. Make sure you guys hit, hit that subscribe and hit the bell. If you guys just hit subscribe, you guys will never see another video I make or I put out or do. If you hit that bell, that will ensure that you will see them. You'll get notifications. YouTube uh, really does a good job hiding my stuff, so. Definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. Break the algorithms. Uh, I have been out here for, well, ever since uh, 8.30. So no, hold on, I've been out here for 245 minutes. <laughs> Uh, they're not currently burning a flag. Uh, they did uh, tear down a flag out of the, off of the State Patrol building, uh, State Patrol Crime Lab. They ripped the flag down from there off the flagpole, burnt that flag and the Washington flag that was attached to it, Washington State flag. And then um, after that, they've been, uh, they broke a couple windows. I haven't seen any other fires started, but definitely some windows have been broken. Yeah, lots of spray paint. Lots of spray paint for sure.
funny story, in downtown Portland, Antifa and BLM actually rented some porta potties and uh, placed them around downtown and um, in their hot spots where they would go protest more often. And uh, I used one of them one time, and they are remarkably clean if you do it in the morning. If you check them out in the morning, and probably at night, they're probably not so great. Just saying. Probably the cleanest porta potty I've ever, ever seen. My wife might even have used it. No, they actually, actually paid for it. They have a lot of money, guys. Don't think that they're not wealthy. These people, these people are very well funded. The riot ribs itself made hundreds of thousands of dollars. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. And come to find out, um, according to a couple of sources that I have, it, uh, it was a scam, quite a big scam, but, uh, you know, to be honest, you know, Soros might be, but I've seen their, their fund, uh, their funding, their GoFundMe stuff and their fundraisers. They get thousands upon thousands of small dollar donations, thousands of them. People just, people just go and yeah, we're going to donate because we feel like you're doing the right thing. Like, it's crazy. It is amazing the amount of funding that they get from small dollar donations. Uh, the squeaking are little pig squeakers. Uh, little dog squeaker toys. And they're pigs. They're literal, literal pigs. <clears throat> oh yeah, you set up a GoFundMe for Antifa, you'll you'll make some money. Technically, is fraud. She's always very vocal. Looks like these guys here are all Vancouver PD. There's no uh, sheriff's office here that I can see. All the patches are VPD. Looks like we're moving again. The numbers are getting smaller. I'm curious as to uh, what's going on here uh, with the police. Because it's, it looks like the police are trying to herd them one direction. But, uh, I mean, they stopped them from going north a second ago. But now we're on the next block and they're going to be going north. So, I don't know uh, how, good, how good that worked out. Unless, of course, there's another police line over here. So, uh, the police are following them now. Huh. Super funny story. Right here. You can get on to I-5, so if they wanted to get on I-5 and stop traffic, there's an open lane right there. There might be state patrol on the other side, but uh, it doesn't look like it. it. Doesn't look like it at all. Weird. These are 
I know a lot of these people I recognize from Portland, but I'll tell you what, Antifa and Black Lives Matter in the old days, <laughs> it's a lot different than these guys. more stuff getting thrown at windows. Let's see if anything broke. Yep. That it did. Went through the window right there. Oh, it's still spider webbing. Like I, can, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Sounds like it's ready to blow. <laughs> All right. Some more stuff going on over here. Police line's still following them. There's a police line, it appears. It's a police line paralleling us on the left. Oh, maybe not. I don't know, there's a group of people paralleling us to the left. We got a garbage can knocked over. Little trash pandas. Another garbage can. <clears throat> Breaking some more windows up here. one up there two holes three holes through there four holes through there police lines catching up I like that jacket So over to the right here, there's uh, some officers, probably two blocks down it looks like. I do have a GoPro. Uh, however, I need a new one. The battery life's just not so good. I film it in 4K. I don't even know if it's uh, still going. Black Rock's getting uh, smashed up now. Oh, 
Sorry, guys. That went right through. There's some more up here. You get this window? Yeah. Carter's got the spider up. There's a big old hole. I'm really surprised that they did that. Usually they don't do it when there's a camera right in front of them. Hesitated for a minute. All right, so Vancouver PD just declared this an unlawful assembly. There's a lot of glass getting broken up here, so. Let's try to find some more glass here. Did you? Did you ever have the Osmo before this one, or did you just buy that one? Uh, I just bought this one. This one. This okay. one came out like a while after I had the one right came out right before this one. This the newer one that they just came out with works so much better than the other one. I love this thing. This thing's it's amazing. So sick. The only thing I don't like is how slow it is. Well, if if so, if you just if you grab the handle, what I do with mine is it, it self balances. So a lot of time I don't even use my trigger. I just like I use it like this. Like I, 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 oh, when oh. I first started, I used the trigger for the longest time. Then I used like the thumbstick. But now, like I, if you just turn your wrist, it glides so perfectly. I love it. But I got a bunch of shit hanging off mine. <laughs> Yeah, you said you have 10 minutes of this first. All right, I'm going to go down there, guys, and look for a... It's always nice when other filmers come up and talk to me. There's some broken glass. Oh, there we go. Right over here. So people are running around now. Police said uh, people in the roadway, you've been ordered to disperse. If you do not, you are subject to arrest. Apparently, uh, according to these guys, uh, all of the escort pl uh, cars that they had that were going down, blocking the road and stuff, they all got picked up. They uh, they stopped them all. Wish I could have seen that. It's okay. I'm sorry, uh, Bobby. I am unable to tell you what I am wearing. Or anything at all. That could identify me, sir. I apologize. Excuse me, guys. On top of the thing. Yeah. And so people are just like, don't even, they poke it with the fucking stick. In other words, dick. 
For Sky News, it's one of their networks. Sky News. <laughs> Sky News is a British uh, television company, similar to Fox. Yeah, I'm not telling them I'm with Fox. Ooh. There's a whole group of people down here. This way. This way to the park. People. Fuck. Yeah, if we don't want to get kettled, we gotta find a spot where we are far enough. Oh, sorry, man. Bad, bro. Oh yeah, they are already being herded. So, this will be interesting to see what VPD does uh, since they declared it an unlawful assembly. I don't know if they're gonna do anything or not. There's a bunch of officers up here in front of us. There's uh, some right wingers over here So there's a bunch of law enforcement heading down towards the park too, it looks like. Yeah. 
A bunch of nice guys. They've developed a really good relationship with uh, a lot of the people here. It's amazing. Guy with cameras, say something, loser. Oh, what would you like me to say? Would you like me to tell you that how leftists are quite stupid when it comes to thin line stuff? Because he thinks that he's asking if uh, why wear the thin red line? Because who's that supposed to protect? People don't understand that the thin lines are for people to honor the people who have died in the line of service, in the line of duty. I don't know where in Tifa went. I know that there's a bunch of people just kind of hanging out right here. I'm going to go on down to the park and see, uh, see what's going on down there. I'll show you guys uh, the crowd that's sitting here. Everybody's talking, everybody's chatting. It's pretty good. I'm going to go... The park's just a block down here, so I'm just going to go check out the park, see what's going on down there really quick. And then come back up here, and if it's all mellow and nothing's going on, I think I'm going to go home, guys, because <laughs> i got to pee. My back hurts. I fell into a couple holes. <clears throat> Good street, my street. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm in the bike lane, so this doesn't really count. 
I believe that all bike lanes should be abolished and that uh, bicycles, if they want to ride on the road, that they must uh, get a license plate and pay. ADAD, all bicyclists are bastards. Thank you, RP. It means a lot, man. Get in the crowd. There's not really a crowd anymore, guys. There's some more uh, Patriot folks down here. Got some security hanging out in the store here. Doppelganger. Let's go look and see what right wingers look like. You guys want to see what right wingers look like? Let's go look at them. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of lefties. Let's see what righties look like. You're right. Huh. I'm sorry. I, I actually cannot say Trump 2020. I have to say Trump cult 2020 because I am a Washingtonian. So Vancouver So now we have There's literally only press and medic. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go check on Rosie y'all. I'll be back in a minute. Oh yeah. It's a all yeah. press and medics. So for those of you who couldn't hear, the police uh, said that we've given you a substantial amount of time. We declared this an unlawful assembly. Go north. Some of the people did not like that. And they said, no. And they said, um, they said, uh, that the people here are here to stand for you and with you and or our press. So. So there's a large number of law enforcement that's hanging out here right now. So I'm just gonna cross the street. It's, uh, they're facing that group that we were with there a little while ago. So all they're doing is they're just announcing, telling everybody it's time to go home. Thank you guys for your donations. It really means a lot. Especially with Antifa, like I honestly, like I'm super stoked and super surprised and amazed and just in awe that there's so many of you guys watching right now. Uh, I think we topped out at about 3,000, 3.1 or 2,000 people watching. Uh, YouTube's been killing me this month. I'm down 73%. Helps us, I keep doing this. Makes it so, uh, it's buffering. Oh. All right, I'm gonna walk up around. Okay, awesome. But, uh, yeah, it really means a lot, guys. So, I think I'm actually going to go home because it looks like this party's pretty much over. Everybody's kind of mellow. 
<laughs> yeah. uh, they've actually done it before. Last time I talked about YouTube censoring me, they actually shut the uh, shut the um, stream down completely, and I couldn't get back into it. It was nothing but a uh, a blank screen for everybody still watching. It stayed uh, stayed that way for about an hour. It's horrible. <laughs> Keep forgetting that part. <laughs> he got yelled at. My car doesn't even have plates that are marked. It's cheating. There's a drone up here again. You guys see it up there flashing? Yeah, tomorrow's probably going to be about the same. Make sure you guys, uh, I don't know, maybe. It varies once in a while. I can't stream a lot. All right, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell. I do not live stream every event uh, because it's just not safe uh, for me to do so. Um, it's going to be on Twitter that I was live streaming today, so it's uh, nah, never a good idea to live stream too much. So anyway, but hit that bell because no matter what, I'm sure there's going to be footage. I got other people to go out and stream too. So... Should be footage coming up if I am able. So hit the subscribe, hit the bell. No, there were no fires, just a bunch of broken windows. I'll see you guys later. Thank you all very, very much for your donations. Thank you very, very much for watching. Love you guys.